What is going on, everybody? We're here today to talk about Kudo one more time. If you remember, part one of our Kudo was that Kudo was the evolution of the Dogs of Elon token. And now, <clears throat> now we're going to get into the actual evolution. We're going to take a look at the website. We're going to take a look at the white paper, and we're going to see if this is the right investment for us. Uh, as always, let me remind you, this is a paid promotional partnership, and uh, this does not reflect whether I am or am not invested. I'm providing you the marketing so that you can then do your own research, read through the white paper, look at the site for yourself, uh, put the thing through to token sniffer, decide for you if this is the investment for you. But I am here to show you what I'm seeing. And if you value my opinion, then remember, it's not financial advice. It's just an opinion. So we're going to start off at the Kudo website. As you can see, we've kind of scaled back on some of the uh, uh, the, the meme sort of aspect of it and created a more professional site uh, with the uh, premise here being putting the fun into blockchain gaming. And the idea here being that the core belief of Kudo Gaming is to create games that are fun, completing the Web3 gaming puzzle. There's projects under development. Uh, you're going to see uh, a whole bunch. There's DOE Rangers, uh, DOE Off the Leash. And remember, DOE is Dogs of Elon and the DOE Metaverse. Now, we'll take a look at the Rangers over here. Very simple platformer type game. Uh, utilities to play the tournaments to win KDOE prizes. Uh, utilizes a play to win mode. Boss battles, comprehensive and competitive leaderboards. Mo First off, we start with DOE Rangers. Uh, Kudos DOE Rangers is an engaging retro style side scrolling game that incorporates the Genesis Dogs of Elon NFT collection. Uh, players are tasked with maneuvering their NFT dog character through a challenging alien invasion of Elon Musk's colony on Mars. Game features are that it utilizes a play to win mode, has boss battles, a competitive leaderboard, mobile friendly and tournaments to win KDOE prizes, and there is alpha testing going on. If you're interested in this, go into the Telegram, uh, which is linked down below, and you can check that out. Can you play right now? We are still, uh, we're currently still whitelist only. If you have a DOE NFT, all you have to do is fill out a Google form, and they will get back to you on your ability to play that game. Now we have DOE Off the Leash. This is a sandbox type game, sandbox type experience. As you can see, it's a block style, a little similar, a little more advanced than Minecraft is what I'm looking at right here. This is a single player RPG with a PVE environment, quests and challenges. Uh, the planned future features include interoperability, a multiplayer experience, and the DOE sandbox assets collection. Then we have the Kudo Verse which is uh, their metaverse game. And as you can see, this kind of harkens you back to the 32-bit gamers. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty fun. Early in development, this is the, the approach here. Uh, as you can see right here, is using the timeless 2D pixel art styling and web-based technologies to create a mobile-friendly metaverse that's accessible to the widest possible audience. That being said, let's move over to the white paper and let's decide, is this for you? And as you can see right here, uh, we're going to come down here. We're going to get rid of legal disclaimers. The mission of Kudo. Uh, the Kudo mission is to utilize Web3 technology to create entertaining and highly engaging applications that push the boundaries of traditional gaming and the metaverse. We believe that harnessing the power of blockchain technology, we can address the failures of Web2 centralization in traditional gaming finance and governance and create a new era of decentralized, transparent, and secure applications. The vision is to create a vibrant and captivating blockchain gaming community where players can experience the excitement and thrill of decentralized gaming while also enjoying the benefits of true ownership and control over their assets. Uh, through our innovative use of blockchain technology and our commitment to delivering the high quality gaming experience, the Kudo Project strives to deliver unique blockchain gaming that is both fun and rewarding for players at all levels. Uh, we know why the blockchain, we don't have to get into that, but um, let's also look at this path forward. Now, of course, we know the Kudo team is proud to unveil a comprehensive roadmap for the upcoming 12 to 24 months with a focus on leveraging the formidable power of Web3. Over the next 12 to 14 months, we'll be working tirelessly to develop the technologies and applications that will bring the vision behind Kudo to life. 
First thing we start off with is the DOE Rangers, which, as we know, is a platform uh, game with a play to win mode and competitive leaderboards, mobile friendly uh, that includes tournaments and does have a web application and is available if you would like to by going and holding a DOE NFT and going into their Telegram. Uh, there's a Google form that you can fill out that will help you get started if you want to participate in the alpha. Also, there's DOE off the leash, off the leash, which is a sandbox MMO, which is a sandbox RPG, giving you plenty of options along the lines of it looks like, and it appears as early, but uh, like a Minecraft sort of game, single player PVE, player versus environment with daily quests and challenges. Uh, interoperability with your NFT collection, a multiplayer experience, and sandbox collections. Also, you have the Kudoverse, which is a 2D uh, uh, platform game that... Also, you have the Kudoverse, which is a 2D MMO that uh, we all fam we're all familiar with the 32-bit graphics stylings of some of these games, but now this is a multiplayer land ownership, mini game, interoperable, land staking, NFT collectible, dream of a game that should be a whole lot of fun. Now, uh, moving on to the NFT collections, you've seen me uh, kind of th throwing out some of these NFTs. You can see the Genesis collection. This is giving you just a taste of what it is up here. Um, the Dogs of Elon Kudos Genesis NFT collection serves as an homage to Elon Musk. The collection acts as the digital identity of the Kudo community. These NFTs are more than just digital art. They're filled with utilities and use cases that help to create and sustain a cohesive ecosystem within the Kudo project. Uh, Kudo places a strong emphasis on the utility of the dogs of Elon NFTs. These NFTs are integrated with the company's gaming platform and metaverse and are required for players to participate in competitive tournaments to compete for a share of the Kado prize pool. There are 9,997 unique NFTs, 137 total trace, three sub collections, gaming utility, Kado tax incentive, and then a Kado staking yield boost. Also, we're looking at a Kudo wallet. One of the biggest challenging challenges facing the blockchain adaptation is the difficulty of new users to enter the ecosystem. And the Kudo wallet is designed to make this a little bit easier for you. The Kudo wallet is designed to make adoption easier for you. Uh, Own Your Crypto will allow you to set custody. Uh, there will be a DAP browser included. It's DeFi based. Um, there's a governance option and gamified. So uh, that should be very nice for you. Kudo, by the way, as we have said previously, and we want to stress it now, uh, the DAO. There is a DAO coming to Kudo that you will be able to use your native KDOE tokens in order to get your vote or uh, create proposals. The DAO will be launched in phases, eventually leading to the complete decentralization of the native Kado token by putting the power of governance in the hands of users. Kudo sets its sight on creating a truly decentralized platform that's open, transparent, and equitable. Overall, the motivating factor is to empower users through decentralized governance and to enable them to participate in the growth and success of the Kudo ecosystem. The governance token is going to be called GDOE, uh, Governance Doge, uh, Governance Governance Dogs of Elon token. Uh, the DAO will govern tax fees, percentages, and allocations, token distributions and allocation, grants, and rewards. And it'll be uh, governed by... Uh, and the way that it's going to be governed is GDOE token holders will be able to create a governance referendum with ideas and proposals to publish their discourse and vote. Once a referendum has been passed, the Kudo team will be able to create an official detailed proposal for holder vote. And uh, the GDOE tokens will be transferable and the owner will control their vote. Uh, then we have the NFT marketplace, which is where you're going to be able to buy uh, creator collections, land, asset drops, partnered collections, and the original Genesis DOE NFT. And they are looking, as you can see right here, at esports gaming and cross-chain bridging uh, between several different interfaces. Uh, as far as security goes, uh, as you can see here, we've already been through the Solidity portion, uh, or 
as you can see right here, security is an important um, uh, commodity for the team here. So you're going to have multi-sig on everything. Time lock audits are being conducted. Uh, this is fully audited by CERTIC, as you can see right here. KYC has been done on the founders and uh, management staff for KUDO. Uh, there is a DeFi liquidity lock and uh, the KUDO DAO will create the governance. Not launched yet, but will be coming. You can scroll through the rest of this and you'll be able to get through all the different things. Uh, but let's talk about tax distribution. Uh, you're talking about a total tax of 8% in, 10% uh, out. Uh, this is a discount, by the way. If you are a Dogs of Elon holder, then, you're, um, then your buy and sell is 6% and 8%. 2% and 3% always going to marketing. 2 and 3 always going to development. Two and two and two and two going to liquidity and burn one and one and one and one if you are a holder. All right, guys, that covers pretty much uh, a, a good idea. This gives you a sense of what's going on. You can see the thought put into this, the process played out and the number of games and how they are leaning into their own IP. And listen, dogs of Elon, we all have fun with Elon Musk. We all think that it's funny. We, we think it's engaging that he uses a Shiba Inu. We we like the fact that he is uh, a celebrity in the crypto space. So these guys are leaning into it. And I hope that you guys find this to be uh, a good review. And I hope that you are interested and that you do your own research. Check this out. Decide for yourself whether this is the investment to you, for you. This is not financial advice. My name is Bleeves. I am always right. And we will talk to you guys again very, very soon.